Hey, One Dose Daily. This is Monday, yeah. I'm Zoe, and I'll be filling in for Michael today. I'll be reviewing the movie Hancock for you guys. So Hancock is a movie about a superhero, but not your average typical superhero. He's an alcoholic and he's homeless, and generally causes more damage than good. He ends up saving a business entrepreneur off some train lines, and ends up meeting his family. The businessman's wife really doesn't get along with Hancock, as he's always on the news and always negative stories about him and how much damage he's causing their town. But it turns out she's also a superhero and she's been battling against him for the past 3,000 years trying to get away from him and living a normal life. She's immortal too, because all the other superheroes have paired up, become mortal because that's what happens, and lived a happy human life together and died. There's this amazing fight scene and they go throughout the city destroying things, having this amazing superhero fight, and then the businessman and his little son find out and everything messes up. Then Hancock gets shot along with the wife. They're both struggling and slowly dying in hospital. The further and further and further these people get apart, the more of their powers they get back and the easier they can heal. So what Hancock has to do is slowly crawl away from the love of his life and it's really sad but he doesn't really have a choice, he becomes a good guy, and everything is lovely. Yeah, amazing film, very unpredictable plot, I might have just ruined it for you. Oh. Will Smith plays the leading role, and everyone knows he's a great actor, I really enjoy his movies always. It's directed by Peter Berg, well, it's won two awards and was nominated for seven. I personally think it should have won a lot more, the special effects, the acting, everything was great. In fact, the first time I watched this film, I was with 200 people around me in the school theatre. We had surround sound and a huge screen, so the atmosphere was great to watch it in. I recently rewatched the film on an eight hour car drive to my holiday. So I'd highly recommend this film. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 stars. I really think you should watch it because I think it's a super mega awesome film and I think you might too. There's a bit for everyone in it. There's the little bit of romance and there's the amazing effects and there's the action and the crime and the pam pam going to cut off some people's hands and yeah, it's a good film. So I've been filling in for Michael, my name's Zoe or Jellybean Queen X. Link in the sidebar and thanks for having me.